Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video, I partnered with Nail Addict LA. They sent me over their cruelty-free vegan gel nail polish. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my at-home gel mani and pedi. I do my nails and my toes and I'm also going to show you the colors that I got. You guys can also purchase from Nail Addict using my code Nia G for 50% off. You guys, you must purchase a minimum of two items and if there's already a sale on the website, unfortunately, you won't be able to use the discount, but you know, use your use your thinking cap. If my code is 50% off and their code, I don't know how much their code may be, maybe 20% off. Come on. Let's use our bargain our bargain brain but okay so I'm gonna show you guys the colors that I picked out I picked out a base I picked out a base it's so cute look at the packaging it's so simple and the no wipe top coat as you guys know once you're done with the gel manicure and you put on the top coat you usually have to wipe it off but with this you don't all you have to do is cure it and your gel light machine and it's all good they also sell um, they also sell the gel lights that will help you cure the nails, but I already have one at home, so I didn't purchase one, but they do have those available, and I picked out five different colors. The one that I use is Her Armor. It is gray. I've been really feeling gray lately, and I'm super excited to show you guys how it went. It's so pretty, but yeah, so this color is Her Armor. They also sent I also chose a brown called Chocolate Dream. You can see that color right there. And you can also, in the tops of these, see the color a little bit better. So you get a little glimpse of what it will look like outside of the packaging. I picked out a red. It's called Electric Red. As you guys know, I love red nails and I love red. Red is one of my favorite colors. It's actually my second favorite color. My three favorite colors are pink, red, and black. And this bright green, because I've been loving the green lately, the Bottega green, the Zara green. It's absolutely everything. This is called Second Chance. The colors are so perfect. It's like, wow. And the nail polish also has the ingredients right on the back, especially if you're super ingredient conscious. But like I said, these are vegan nail polishes, and they have not been tested on animals, which is a huge deal right now. So, yeah. And then Black Addict is the last one. It is just a regular black polish. I love black on my toes, especially in the winter. In this video, you guys actually see me paint my toes black. That's the first color that I did. But then I decided I wanted to do my nails gray because I did my toes first. So I took the polish off my toes and then I end up with gray polish if you guys are wondering. But I do love both colors. I've just been feeling gray lately and I don't think I've ever had gray on my toes. I usually... um. I usually have only done gray on my nails and I'm a super simple pedicure type of girl if you guys have been paying attention to my videos I kind of go back and forth between a regular plain gel manicure and a you know acrylic set a little bit longer but still simple basic colors but my toes I always do my toes myself every once in a while maybe I'll go treat myself to um to a trip to the salon for my toes but I think doing my toes is very therapeutic and it just gives me time to unwind because it's something that's time consuming. You have to take a lot of time to do it. So you're kind of just focused on one thing at once, which is really good for my sanity. Like I need to take time to be focused. Also, these gel manicures last super long, much longer than a regular manicure, regular polish. It's resistant, baby chip resistant maybe um usually you just need to go get them done once they start to grow out but that's all for now that's all for now make sure you guys use my code nia g for 50 percent off thank you guys so much for watching leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already so i'm starting with the clear base and i go over all of my nails and with these manis and petties my nails and my hands are Mean. my cuticles are pushed back my nails are filed I had just taken off an acrylic set right before doing my nails so I had to nurse my fingers and nails back to health and make them look nice and clean so that my nails would go on nice and clean and 
polish and as you guys can see this is multiple times throughout the video i'm wiping off the excess gel i am no nail technician i would love to learn how to do nails honestly i've been thinking about it a lot lately but i've always had a gel kit and known how to do gel polish and regular nails and next i'm going in with my actual color polish i do two coats of this this gray color is called her armor and when i before i start putting the polish on i shake it up so that it won't be clumpy or goopy they also sell um polish shakers which you often see in nail salons but i always shake it up and i make sure that the polish is nice and flat once it's applied otherwise when it dries it will be clumpy and it will just be unflattering unsightly to the eye but I make sure that it's all flat so that it goes onto my nails nice and sleek and it gives a fresh manicured look. Gel polish is a little thicker than regular polish so that's why it's important for you to keep on brushing until it is flat so that all the imperfections are gone once the polish is applied. And after every single layer of polish, I do cure my nails in my gel light. The gel light is from Amazon. I will include it down below in the links. Um, I set it to 90 seconds, but I usually do it a couple of times. Since I'm not in a rush or anything, I'm doing it myself, but I do want to make sure that the polish is 100% dried so that it's not really like... It can... It can be really easy when you're doing gel for it to not be completely dry, which could cause all types of mold, fungus, germs, and things like that. Since I'm not a rush, who cares? I just dry it as many times as possible, up to my discretion, just to avoid any kind of fungus. And these are my little jelly beans. Once they're finished, this is them fresh out. Now let's get into the toes. My favorite part, I'm starting with the base. Yet again, I went through the same process with my nails. I filed them down. Um, you guys can see a little discoloration in my toes. That's because my toes are always painted. Every once in a while, I'll give them a little break, but I generally do not. This was my first go around with this base and I wasn't aware that such a little bit goes a long way which is why you can see me struggling a little bit to get it nice and flat but as you guys can see back at the nails I do use a little bit as much as necessary to get the nails nice and flat. So you all can see I have one foot curing under the light while I put on the black polish. The black polish is called Black Addict. I know people love white toes, but I love black. I think it looks super cute, clean, and sleek. If you're into something basic, I feel like after white would be black and then a French tip. I love the way that a pretty manicured foot looks. And sometimes I feel like when you change, when you wear like a bunch of different nail polish colors on your toes you know sometimes you have to change your outfits around so that it'll match if you're wearing your toes out but um black literally always goes with everything you can't go wrong with it and it's nice for winter and it's nice really in the summer i've worn black in the summer because i just love black toes but yes this is a nice good winter color for your toes i love pretty feet like a pretty uh toe polish movement is always a thumbs up for me. So I do two coats and now I'm going in with the base. And again, when I'm wiping off the excess, it is because when you cure your toes, that excess will also cure and dry and it'll be on your actual feet, which can be kind of hard to get off. So I kind of tried to wipe it away with my fingers, as you guys can see. And you guys can kind of see my nails that I have on right there, which were black. 
and this is the finished look. Look at my little jelly bean toesies. I always call my nails jelly beans because I feel like they're so little, but I love the gray on gray. It is perfect for winter, super clean and sleek. Oh my gosh, gray is my new winter fave, I believe. So I'm going to keep my toes gray for a while. I love this palette. All right, so now you guys see the final result of my mani petty. Hope you guys love today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, use my code NIAG for 50% off. Everything will be linked down below as well as the color names. That's all for now, and I'll see you guys next time.